here on Ice Time TV for our regular midweek catch up with Devils player coach Andrew Lord. And uh, Andrew, uh, a little bit of a, a mixed weekend, uh, a, a good, solid, professional home win here on the Saturday night, a tough trip to, to Sheffield on Sunday. Uh, a few days afterwards, how do you reflect on it? Yeah, uh, good to have a full week here, get back to work. Uh, obviously, it wasn't our best. I thought, uh, you know, it, a lot of it is, I talk to the guys about 5%, and it's just that little extra work rate, that little extra relentlessness. Um, and you could see Sheffield definitely had it, um, and they came out, they were playing physical, uh, and we we just didn't quite match it, um, you know, for whatever reason. And we're going to correct that this week, and we got to come out uh, playing the way we have now for the better part of, uh, you know, at least more than a month. So. Is it, you know, we talk about it in commentary and, and, and sometimes people in the media make more of it, but for a hockey player's mindset, the fact that you get to go to Sheffield again on Saturday and potentially put that right, that lower performance on, on, on Sunday night, is that something that actually comes into your coaching strategy? Uh, I think any real competitor, um, you know, after a tough tough night when they haven't had their best, uh, especially when it's more of a energy and passion thing, I think whoever you play the next game, you're going to want to bring it. And, and we have a you know, to a man, we have a bunch of competitors in our room. So I, I think regardless of who we're playing, that would be the case. Um, you know, maybe there's a little added incentive just because of the rivalry. And, um, you know, it is always a great game, uh, you know, between the two teams. Does it feel like a rivalry? Because, you know, long-standing Devils fans will always look to the Steelers as their main rivals. Of course, the Steelers have, have the Panthers. But I you get the impression the rivalry is being reestablished for them. What, what are those games like to play in? Yeah, they're intense, very physical. Uh, there's definitely animosity out there. Very up-tempo hockey. Um, you know, it's probably some of the best, um, you know, pace of play I've been involved with here uh, since I've come over to the league. Um, I, I'd say it is actually for sure. Um, just, you know, the depth of both rosters, um, you know, the coaching involved between both sides. There's just There's just so many really good factors and, and it makes for a great entertaining hockey game. They're definitely very fun to play in, uh, very, very intense. And I think, uh, I think it's great for the league. We caught up with you just after the game on Sunday and inquired about the, uh, the health of Ben Bounds. And you said it was uh, a week of monitoring for him. Uh, how's that monitoring gone? How's Ben? Yeah, it's good. I think it's probably a little better than we expected uh, day to day right now. So we'll just keep taking it like that. And, you know, he's doing everything, um, he needs to to take care of it and so is our medical team so we'll know more here uh, in the next couple of days and you know hopefully uh, hopefully he's ready to go we know how much of a competitor is so I'm sure he'll be dying to get back out there now uh, as you rightly said on on uh, Sunday night no professional uh, looks to to deliberately hurt a, a, another one but just to throw in a question from Devils fans which we've seen on, on forums and social media they were wondering whether there was any thought of a more physical response from the Devils on Sunday night whether you wanted uh, uh, that team toughness uh, anybody should have been held accountable what, what's your reply to that yeah I 100% I agree uh, whether it's accidental or not and you know it happened more than more than once so you got to start wondering I think uh, <laughs> I was saying after the games, any of my junior coaches would be uh, pretty upset uh, if they knew a co team that I coached uh, didn't have a response to that. Um, and um, yeah, you know, it's not all about fighting or being like that, but there has to be some sort of some sort of response. And um, you know, it's been addressed now, and I, I'm sure as a team uh, we'll be ready to play on Saturday. Looking ahead to uh, to this weekend, then of course the return in in, in Sheffield on uh, on Saturday and uh, home against Fife on Sunday night. On Friday, the, the Giants and the Steelers uh, face off. Is that something you keep an eye on? Is it something you ignore? What's, what's the mindset? Well, definitely going you know, to watch the game just from a scouting perspective. So I, I will know the score because yeah. of that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it'll, be, it'll just be good to know either way what we're dealing with on Saturday. And at the same time, we just want a good performance. Let's go out. Let's play the right way. Uh, like we've been doing so much lately um, and on a consistent basis. And when we do that, our chance of success is, is very, very high here. And it's just, it just feels good to be a part of uh, something like that. It didn't feel good after the game Saturday. Um, you know, to a man, I'm sure we knew um, or we did know that it, it wasn't our best. And, uh, you know, we're looking to change that. In terms of keys to the game against the Steelers in the Challenge Cup final, you, you nullified their quick transition, their, their puck-moving defenseman for, for certainly 40 minutes of, of, of that game. Did that get away from the guys a little bit on, on um, Sunday? Yeah, I mean, I think 
part of that was Sheffield was playing a lot faster. Um, they were, you know, just transitioning with such speed. At the same time, you know, I think it was maybe a little bit of a flip. They go up a little bit, and we come down a little bit with our foot speed, uh, our tenaciousness, you know, our physicality, uh, puck management, all those, you know, buzzwords play in, and then some other systematic factors. But, um, yeah, you know, I, I definitely agree with you, and, again, it's uh, something we want to get back to. Uh, and the Flyers come into town on, on, on Sunday night. Um, your thoughts on them? Strong net minding. They've got some good scoring. They've probably got secondary scoring this year, which uh, is a bonus for the Flyers. So they're going to be a dangerous animal. They're very tough. I think they have uh, top two lines, especially. You know, maybe their top six fours have a ton of speed. They really counter quick. Um, they have a few guys that can make individual plays off the rush as well. We've seen how great their goalie can be. Um, you know, he's, he's been like that in a couple games against us. Uh, and I think the other thing is they're a lot more experienced. They got some, they got some veterans and Jackman and Moyer. Um, these guys, I'm sure, you know, get their room right and, and their identity the right, you know, in the right direction or whatever, however you want to call it. And uh, yeah, it's another very tough test. In terms of experience, in terms of learning, uh, you've done such a good job in Cardiff that, that people sometimes forget this is only your third year as coach. Is this another learning experience in terms of trying to get a team over the finishing line? You're actually leading right now as opposed to, to chasing maybe. So I suppose for you, this is more development. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> there isn't a day that goes by that you don't learn something uh, in this business. I think that's the keys to being a, to being a good coach or developing into a good coach is you got to soak everything up. And uh, I definitely take that on. And, um, you know, I love feedback from my own team and, and we're constantly doing that. So I think, um, yeah, I'm definitely always acquiring information. And um, this one's good because I think after the big win, you know, it's a challenge to get the boys back on track. And I thought, uh, you know, Saturday was, was solid against Dundee and then a little bit of a blip for Sunday. But uh, again, when you look at it <clears throat> on a whole over the last while, we've been playing some great, great hockey and uh, I'm sure we'll get back to it here. And uh, certainly in Cardiff, nobody's counting their, their chickens. But in terms of your coaching experience, it was announced yesterday there will be two Champions League hockey spots. Is that something that you look to? Would that be a, a further development in your career? Of course, yeah, we've been... We've been dying to get into that uh, for a couple of years now, just absolutely dying. And I know some people may be against it because it might uh, make it a little harder for the following season or whatever, but I think that's, I think that's a bunch of garbage. We want to get to the highest level possible. We want to get this, uh, this organization even further on the map. And to be able to do that on the international stage would be absolutely incredible. Um, so yeah, that's just another added thing. Um, I think there's enough reasons to win <laughs> aside from that. So. Um, yeah, it's just a little added bonus. And just finally, Andrew, and I don't think I've asked you this question since the summer. Hockey's pretty intense right now. Are you able to escape a little bit? You walking the dog? You eating some food? What, what's, 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 uh, what's your escape from hockey right now? Nothing. It's a uh, great time of the year. It's, it's not work. It's, uh, it's fun being down here. It's been fun being with this group. Uh, they love the game as well. And, you know, when you're winning and when you're at the top, it's where you want to be and you got to soak it in. And I think I'm doing a little bit better job of that right now. Uh, you know, just enjoying the process a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, no complaints from me. Uh, no complaints from Devils fans, certainly. And if you are a Devils fan, there are still some tickets left for Sunday night's game against the Five Flyers. Of course, if you can't get to Ice Arena Wales, we'll have all the coverage live on Ice Time TV, starting from around about 20 to 6. Andrew, as ever, thanks for your time. Thanks.